Kevin. <laughs> Where do we start? I suppose we start with the result. 2-1 defeat away to Exeter, but the result doesn't tell the whole story of the game. No, once, once again, you know, we might as well play last week's recording, really. Because it's, it's pretty much the same thing, except today we, uh, we were still on the coach for five minutes in the game. First five, ten minutes, and, then, and that is what's done the, done the game. Um, and that's not no no excuse, it's just how it is. The rest of the game absolutely dominated. Created loads of chances, didn't take them. Um, it was, it was a, so I don't, I'm not quite sure how, how you say what you say about that, really. The first ten minutes of the game were... So at least really the first two goals came in that 10 minutes and they really were a massive mountain to climb almost immediately though. Yeah, absolutely. That, this, that, that is exactly what happened. Um, you're spot on. It was, you know, they, they started the game really brightly and from our point of view, the goals were really poor. Um, and then we, we kind of tried to get back into it. Um, got one goal back and should have had more back, but you're 2-0 down and, and this, this, this game is all about results. It's a... I suppose there's a positive up in the press box. Lots of people after the game representing Exeter were saying that Barnet don't look like a side that are mid-table. There should be a side challenging up there with them. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's a flood, but you're absolutely right. And, and you know, you'd like to think that'd be the case. But there's there's a fundamental flaw there somewhere. If we keep playing this performance-wise this well, we're dominating possession, and, and not even sometimes so much the possession, but dominating the stats in terms of shots and something. And we keep doing it and keep getting beat. There's a fundamental flaw there somewhere. Now, whether that's lack of concentration, you'd, you'd love to have to have been here for longer and absolutely get that sorted out. Um, but it, 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 it is what it is. You feel you're close to finding out what that fundamental flaw is, though. Yeah, I think yeah, I think I know what that fundamental flaw is. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. But if you've got four games left through now in the season. I, you know, I've taken the job for 15 games, um, and that fundamental flaw is still with the club, and it's been with the club all season. And you can see that from our early games. Um, when you're conceding late goals, that's the same fundamental flaw. <coughs> Talk us through the um, team selection today. You saw Mauro Valletto line up, he was quite central. That's the first time we've seen him play there with you in charge. Talk us through that. Yeah, well, I think Biola can actually did well, he, he's done well there at Carlisle. Um, so we went along with that as well. And we, were, we got the game on, on, on Monday as well, so we were rotating him around a little bit. We just felt with, with Jack Taylor in there and Ruben as well, um, Mauro gives you a little bit more discipline in there and maybe a little bit more steel as well. So that, that was the reason for that for his position there. And um, a few rested players as well with Monday's game in mind? Yes, yeah, there was a few there was a few that was uh, that didn't play. Jammer obviously came on at half time. Uh, young Fumi who started the last game is another one that's in consideration now. Uh, I wasn't hoping, if I'm honest, I wasn't hoping to, for Jack Taylor to get all of the minutes today, but the way the game was was going, we ended up having to leave him on. But is that a positive though that he did sit out the 90 minutes? Cope well with it? No, it's, it's positive from that point of view, but just now in terms of I was hoping that he'd had 30 last week and he was hoping to maybe give him 60 today and then he'd be starting again to get a full grand Monday. But now now that he's done a 90, he's been out for a few months injured, just got to be a little bit careful. Now. And John Akinde getting the captain's arm down today, nice moment for him along with the goal as well. Yeah, it's good to see him score, and uh, I think he'll agree he could have had a few more as well. Uh, and uh, no, no problems giving him the captaincy at all. I mean, he's just one player of the, uh, player's player of the year. Um, he, he deserves it. He's, if he doesn't score, it seems to be at Barnet that no one scores. So he, he's, he's kept his club where they are at the moment. Does it uh, say something about the side where it does possibly, perhaps need improving in the summer, though? John Akinde has been involved directly in 50% of Barnet's goals this season. Yeah, as I said, he, he's your main goal scorer, and I know, you know, there's not many other people who've scored since I've been in, apart from John. Um, and you know, you speak to coaches and managers that have watched Bayern over the season, and, and he's, he's the one that probably we've probably relied too much on. You know, even sometimes you can't even really rest him because there's no one else to come in. There's players that have gone out during the window that different positions have been brought in as well, so that sort of makes it a little bit more difficult. Looking ahead to Monday's game, Wickham at home, whilst I heard they were losing it today. What you've seen out there today, putting the results on one side, you've got to be going into that game with full of confidence, have you? Yeah, I'm always, I think, probably by now, now you know, I'm, all, I'm a very positive person. Um, but I'm realistic with it as well. And I, you're right, we are going to go into it. But when players take another knock to that's another knock today where you perform that well, have so many chances and still get beat, and they're going to need lifting up again. 
Um, but listen, we, we've got four games left. We're going to go in. And, and listen, you've seen the style of football that I really want to play. And, and that's not just passing. That's passing and creating chances. What we need to do is find that killer instinct of, of finishing the chances off and keeping clean sheets. So once again, we have a clean sheet.